Hey everyone, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here today. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. This channel is all about helping busy and ambitious women and moms just like you try to just keep our busy lives moving forward, but still trying to look good while we're doing it. So I try to bring you either new products or product reviews or makeup tips. I'm constantly taking master classes online to learn new techniques of how to apply makeup because applying makeup on my face is so different than it was just 10 years ago. It's like you're working against gravity, so shadowing, lifting, it's all, it's an art. It's an art form. So I'm constantly trying to improve those artistic skills and share them with you. Today's gonna be all about some new products. If you've watched me for a while, you know that right out of the beginning of the year, I try not to buy a lot of new products because I'm sort of on purchase fatigue after the holidays. That didn't last as long this year as I thought it would because I was enticed with some new products that came out. One of them being the new Pat McGrath eyeshadow. Probably didn't need it. I love my Natasha Denona palette. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love for you to do that. In fact, all of my subscribers would love for you to do that because you're not just joining my channel, you're joining a community of women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70. We're just here trying to get it right and learn from each other as we do it. So you're not just joining the channel when you subscribe, you're joining all of us and I thank you for that. So if you're ready, let's check out some of the new makeup from both Luxury and Drugstore. All right, I know I said makeup and it is all makeup. There's a little skincare in here. But first I wanted to share with you one of those purchases that I saw and I'm like, why haven't I bought those for a while? I did used to love them and I somehow eliminated them from my wardrobe only to find out now that I should incorporate them back into my wardrobe. And that is these dickies. They're collar dickies. If you're like me and you like to wear a collar underneath your shirt, but having this whole kind of stiffer cotton material underneath a shirt is just uncomfortable. I'm constantly tugging it down. So I saw these on Amazon the other day and I thought, why did I ever stop using those? So this pack has both this structured collar and the round collar, which I love. They're heavier material. Both have this strap underneath it so that you can adjust it. And I thought, gosh, that's just gonna really revive my wardrobe. I have a lot of sweaters, especially this time of the year, that I would love to wear a collar with sometimes and change the look and not wear a collar with. So for under 20 bucks, you get both of these. I, I just think this one is such a really pretty soft neckline. I think these just make perfect sense. So instead of buying full shirts these days, I'm buying half shirts at half the price <laughs> so I can spend more money on makeup. So let's talk about that. Um, Makeup. All right, let's start with the drugstore first. I purchased this new Lifter Plump by Maybelline. I'm a little worried because it has a red hot chili pepper on it and that has nothing to do with the color. I wonder if that's just because it's gonna add a little bit of tingle and spice as you apply it. I have it in Peach Fever. Let's just wipe off some of my makeup and we can apply it. it doesn't have a fragrance, which is good. It's not tingly. Is it tingly? Ooh, it is a little tingly. It's a little, that is a weird sensation. You know with Buxom, you ah. Did I miss something on this, you guys? That is hot, like that is hot. Not like, that's hot. This is like, that's spicy. Like I can feel it on my tongue now. Ooh, you know with Buxom has that really kind of menthol sensation? That's not this, this is a little bit warmer of a sensation. I really like this peach fever color. When I think of peach, I think a little bit more on the warm tones. This doesn't feel like a warm tone to me. Although the longer I'm wearing it, it's feeling very warm. It's, it is definitely a burning sensation. Um, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being a high burn, I would call this a six, and I have a pretty high tolerance to pain. Um, that's weird. Well, while that sits and burns my lips off, uh, let's, and I'm not exaggerating guys, that's a lot, that is spicy. I should have read a little bit more about that. It just, I thought I didn't, I didn't read on it. Okay, let's try this new e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. I talked about the Pinky Promise, um, this one, in a video a couple weeks ago. I really liked it. It's a very soft, natural color. It wasn't sticky. So I picked up this Dusty Rose 
and I have not tried it yet. What I like about these is the applicator is small enough that you could just put a few dots right where you want it and I don't feel like it leaves a whole lot of makeup so I'm not trying to blend it out and smear it all over my face. But the Pinky Promise one blends really nicely. Let me get the same number of dots on both sides so I don't look crazy. But these are cruelty free as you know. I find them to be very long wearing and if you find that you get the color a little bit more intense than you want, I've just taken my foundation brush and went right back over them just to tone down the color. Or you can set this with a little bit of blush to give the color some longer staying power. But they blend out really, really easy. They were under $10 and I think there was like seven or eight colors. So a lot of reasons to love these. Of course, e.l.f. is cruelty free, vegan. I mean, that just blends down to such a pretty natural blush look, which is what we want blush to do is look like blush and not like a color. I'm really loving these. I've got it in Pinky Promise and Dusty Rose. You guys, my lips are really burning right now and I'm looking in the mirror and I don't feel like they're definitely not plumped. They have not grown in size or even the illusion of growing in size. So I'm not sure the benefit or the purpose behind making it so spicy hot, but I feel like I rubbed Tabasco on my lips. That's what it feels like right now. So um, clearly this is not sponsored by Maybelline. This video isn't sponsored by anybody and probably would never be sponsored by Maybelline once they hear this glowing review I'm giving. I gotta go wipe this off, I'll be right back. That can't be good for your lips to feel that stingy. So forgive me while I put on some chapstick or else my lips are gonna look crazy the next couple days. I was gonna try another lipstick, but I think we just need to let that shea butter just really absorb deep into the layers of my lips. So let's go to a new product by Stila. This is their Apricot and Bronze. And I just ordered this off of the Nordstrom website. And what I thought I would love about it is like we've seen before, one side is a bronzer, and the other side is a cream blush, which I'm a big fan of. And I thought this would be great for traveling. It would also be great if you just wanna minimize where you get ready in the morning and just simplify it and get down to just a few multitasking products, which I'm all about. So we've already applied that e.l.f. on there. So let's just go with a little bit of this anyway. It's the apricot and see what kind of color we get right underneath. We could also do it right here, I suppose. That is definitely apricot. It's a little more warm than I would like, but let's see how soft it blends out. Ooh, that's really pretty. That blends out really nicely as well. Okay, I think this was about $30, which isn't bad when you consider it's two products. Let's just see how much of each product you get. That's, that's actually not bad at all. I mean, comparatively, you get one blush by e.l.f. for nine. So, you know, I mean, definitely you get more product in e.l.f. than you do both of these, but that is quite a large amount of product. Let me put it all back before something dramatic happens and it like breaks off onto my desk, which has been known to happen before, Natasha Denona eye palette. And the bronze is in golden. Now bronze in a cream is a little bit more challenging. If it's a contour with cream, that's easy to work with. But when it's a cream bronze, and this is probably too, yeah, that's definitely too warm to wear as a contour. So this would need to be a cream bronzer, which again, I find to be a little bit challenging to work with, but we can totally do it. So I'm just gonna take a synthetic brush and go right on top of this. And then let's just bronze right through here. And again, I'm not trying to contour, I'm really just trying to give a little bit of a bronze look. Yeah, I'm not a fan of cream bronzer, so I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. For those of you that would want to apply it as more of a contour if you got a different shade, let's see how easy that is to blend. It's probably really easy. Still, the formulas are typically very smooth, creamy, last a long time, they're not sticky. I mean, that blends out really, really nicely. I'm using it here as more of a contour. It's the wrong color. But if you have darker skin, for example, and you wanted to use this for maybe a little bit more of a um, brightening or a concealer towards the center of your face to lighten things, you could probably do that with no problem. It's, it is very creamy. It blends out really nicely. You would just have to find the right reason to need a warm, 
cream bronzer. That's not a product that I would tend to reach for. If it was more of a gray cool tone, I would use it as a contour. Um, but bronzer to me is a little bit harder to work with in a cream because I just like to powder everywhere like I was just out in the sun. So if you took your time with it, I'm sure it would be fine. But I think that apricot blush is really pretty. So that is a keeper. Quick check-in, lips are still stinging. But let's just go in with a new Pat McGrath lipstick. You know, when you get something from Pat McGrath, it's very similar to an Apple product. You just feel very special being able to open this beautiful package and her packaging is awesome. It has the string that holds it, which I don't know why that makes me happy, but it does. And then you open it and inside is another little box. And when you think about her lipsticks, to me, they just scream classic Chanel-ish. I love how classic her lipstick cases look. This one is in Dream Lover and it is a matte which right now I'll go for anything other than what I have on my lips. In the picture online, it looked very neutral. It looks a little bit more warm there. I'm not sure I will love that, but let's just see how it looks. Whew. I'm not having a hot flash. My lips are having a hot flash. That's a really creamy formula. It doesn't have a fragrance. It goes on really nice and soft. To me, Pat McGrath's lipsticks are what Natasha Denona eyeshadows are. It's just quality. You know what you're gonna get. There's never any question of how quality it is, the color payout gonna be there, is it gonna blend out smoothly, all those what ifs in a lipstick. Pat McGrath just answers all the questions to me. These are a little more expensive. This color is probably not my favorite, but it's a nice neutral to warm color without being such a bold color. And so for that reason, I like it. I don't feel like it's drying down matte, but that could be because I've got a few layers of heavy moisturizer going on right now but it's a really pretty color. So again, that was Dream Lover. So while we're talking Pat McGrath, should we just, we should just get into it. Now, again, I just, you just feel like you're getting something really amazing. This is $128. This is not a splurge I would normally splurge on because I have some beautiful Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. However, I don't have a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. And I thought when I saw these new colors, I thought if I were to get one, this would be the one because they are more of those rose mauve colors, but to the cool side. So that was a good decision. And then when I got it, I looked at it and I started to open it and I'm like, oh, let me wait and open that with you guys. And let's just, it's a, I'm keeping it. That's it. I can't take it back. I, I just opened it. I mean, it's just so beautiful. There's 10 colors in this eyeshadow and there's probably, oh, there is a mirror right there. So let me just cover that mirror so I don't blind you guys. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at those colors. Out of the 10 shades, it looks like only three, let me see if this one, yeah, only two are matte. That's this color and this color. The rest are a bit more shimmery, but if you like a little bit of shimmer in your inner corner and you like to change the look, so you like a lot of different shimmers, this would be a good palette to get because you've got some of those cool shimmers, you've got some warm shimmer, so you really wouldn't need another eyeshadow palette with shimmers if you use it just for a little bit of a touch or you have a special occasion and you wanna cover more of your eyelid with a shimmer, then this would be a beautiful palette to get. Again, it's very much on the pricey side. It's $128, um, so you're buying a piece into your collection, but it's just, I mean, Pat McGrath is just amazing when it comes to shadows. I can see me using this color a lot. Oh, if you love cool tones, that is a color that I wish you could just buy by itself. There's probably a MAC color that's pretty similar to that. That's just that perfect combination of a really deep burgundy, but to the cool side. This one's a deep cocoa. It's a more of a dark copper with a little bit of shimmer to it. It's not too shimmery though. So if you had darker skin and you like to have a little bit more light on the center of your eyelid for like a halo look, that would be really pretty. If you've got lighter skin and you like to go underneath your eyes, the other one I really wanna try is this. This is Rose Dusk. That's gorgeous. That is just such a gorgeous palette, you guys. I'm excited to create some different looks with this. In fact, let me just add a little bit. While we're all here, let me add a little bit of this one. It's pretty close to what I have on, so it may not show up. Yeah. Gosh, that her shadows are so creamy. 
just want to blend that out a little bit. You can't really get a sense for how pretty and creamy that is, probably because I applied it on top of my existing shadow, but you can see how well that blends out. I mean, why stop there? Let's just add a little bit more. Go right there, poke myself in the eye. Ooh! That is pretty. Now, had I done that correctly, I would have put a little bit of primer underneath and then I would have pressed it in so that I don't show my wrinkles, but let's just even it out now. Boy, those are finely milled powders. They just blended on top of that other eyeshadow really flawlessly. You can see the difference of why you want to apply your eyeshadow with a brush instead of your finger, because the difference between how wrinkly that one looks and how smooth that one looks. Um, yeah, good call, Jody. Gosh, that is those are so pretty, you guys, and they're not so, and the spark, the shimmer in them is not bigger chunks of glitter. It's really small. It almost looks shimmery and shiny, but you don't know why. There, you can't see the specks or the parts of the sparkle. It's just highlighted. In fact, highlighted, that gives me another idea. Let's just highlight. Let's use it as a highlighter. I'm gonna go into that same one because why not? And go to this cheek that already has five shades of blush and a bronzer. Woo! -hoo. Okay, see if you were struggling to justify the price of this eyeshadow palette. Look at, it's also a highlighter. I have to highlight a little more areas. The inner corner of my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna have a very highlighted, illuminated face and very red on fire lips. Might start a new trend, I don't know. Speaking of trends, have you guys seen some of that stuff going around on social media? That the neutral and the natural color of clothes and the aesthetic of clothes is out and this year it's all about the mob wife aesthetic. It's more that big fake fur, big chunky sunglasses. I'm kind of digging it. I don't know what it's gonna look like in the summer when you're not wearing a big heavy fur jacket, but I like the upscale comfort look of it. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Well, I have rambled on for a while and I still have a couple products that I have not shared with you guys, but I haven't tried these either, so I don't really have anything to say other than I bought them and I'm gonna try them. These are the YSL Pure Shots. I have one in shape, which is for firmness. These are the YSL Pure Shots. One is called Y Shape and one is Night Reboot. I've not tried these yet and I will let you guys know what I think after I've used them. But if you have tried these, let me know what you think if you saw any results. I like a good eye serum and I really like to use that slugging method for about a week ahead of a big event. So like if I'm gonna be on King 5 TV, I will add some really good night cream and then I'll add Vaseline over it. You guys have seen the slugging thing. And I'll do that for about five days before the event. That adding that Vaseline or Aquaphor over an eye serum at night really just seals in that moisturizer and that serum and lets it penetrate into the skin without evaporating out. I see a big result with it. It's a little too messy to do it every single night because you can get that Vaseline or that Aquaphor on your pillowcases and I sleep with silk pillowcases so that I don't mess up my hair too bad and it just I just feel like it gets a little bit gross looking. So I will use it for special occasions and I definitely think it works. All right, well, my lips have finally cooled down, so that's good. I didn't get any plumping sensation, so of all of this so far, I have to say the only fail is this Maybelline plump. But it's probably my fault because if I were to read it, it probably somewhere in there says could be stinging. I don't know. I don't see the benefit of it, though. I could put up with the sting. I'd be willing to put up with the stinging if there was a plumpiness to it, but that did not happen. So... Maybelline usually gets stuff like this right. In this case, if I want a lip plumper with some color, I will just go back to Buxom because it works. And I love that tingly sensation. Well, that does it for me today, you guys. If you have any of these products, let me know in the comments what you think of them. If you've seen any new products that you want me to review, also leave that to me as well. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.